from the Mineola Wildlife Reserve. This is Larry Cooperman. Having just gone through the worst weather of my ride of uh, about a thousand miles, the clouds are breaking and as you can see in the distance through this fisheye lens with the um, cheap microphone um, the breaking of the clouds and I've just finished the introduction to Fiddler Yosemite and the Opium Journal on the road no Jack Kerouac jokes please but this is for me monumental it'll be the reader to decide if the book is a monument to anything but for my own work it's done and all books have weak spots uh, there are a few parts of it that bother me a little bit and I've not read a book that didn't have just a little bit of weak part except for maybe uh, Marquez's uh, hundred years of solitude that book had no weak parts and uh, maybe the grapes of wrath by John Steinbeck had no weak parts and maybe Roscoe by William Kennedy had no weak spots but um, maybe they did and maybe they did. It depends on the reader. But uh, in reading my own work, uh, I'm not a good judge of it. I know <laughs> where every word came from. And uh, uh, the finishing of this book is, um, I think it's taken about seven years, maybe a little more. And there have been many times when I said it was finished, and it was not. Um, things eat at you. And um, when you uh, go to bed, you may have uh, a phrase you want to uh, inject, and you may have a phrase you want to take out, or a whole paragraph, or a whole chapter. But it's ready, and I know some of you have said you wanted to read it, but I don't believe a word you say, uh, frankly. Uh, everybody's busy, and nobody reads anymore. So hopefully it'll be made a movie. I think it is movie material. But that's not for me to decide. It's for a um, filmmaker to decide. It's uh, 113,000 words and uh, with a tremendously large introduction in an arch form. Uh, the arch form is uh, a literary form, but I encountered the arch form in um, uh, Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra, which is a five movement form, the first and the last being an arch. And uh, it, um, the arch form satisfies me. I think maybe life is in the arch form. You live, you die. I mean, <laughs> what could be more of an arch and the stuff in the middle is life, you know? You're born and you die and the stuff in the middle is life. That's the ultimate arch form. <laughs>